Ultimate Guy, and today I'm going to be making a part 2 of the platformer game that I made recently. Well, actually not so recently, but it's the updated version, and I just wanted to add levels because a lot of you guys were requesting it, and this may go on to be a complete game, or maybe end it here. Most likely I'll add a part 3 into part 4, but today we're going to be working on the basic physics of the game and adding levels. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to change up the style a little bit. So first of all, this is our gameplay so far. So we press the green flag, and you can see that we jump pretty high. And it's pretty easy to make this. I think that it's a little too slow, and I think that the jump is a little too high. So what we should do is we should say, if touching color, black. If key up is pressed, set YV to 5. This creates a more realistic jump, since uh, you most likely can't jump that high usually. Second thing we want to do um, is we're going to delete this costume. And I hope, yeah, here we go. All we're going to do is take a dark blue and we're going to make one. Or let's put it in the middle. And that's it. So the game's going to be called uh, Blue Pixel. And yeah. So now you're probably wondering okay, cool, we have this level. So the first level is going to be just a simple. gonna clear this and we're gonna make it into a sprite and all it's gonna be is like this okay so let's convert to vector because that's gonna make it a lot easier to change things in the future but we're just gonna go like this and like this and then we're gonna add some text and we're gonna say uh, and I'm going to make it white. I'm going to say run across. Hold on. Okay. Run across. That's it. And I might remove this actually because it doesn't look too good. But usually in platformers they have some text. And we can put this under. Okay. Run across. That's it. So we're going to say one flag is clicked. We want to set the size to 100%. And we also want to go to the middle go to x0, comma 0. So here we see this. Now we always want the background to be in the very back. So we can say go back and for now we can just set it to 10. So as you can see the blue pixel stands right here and what we want to do is we want to create a variable called level. So this is going to be a sprite, I mean a variable for all sprites and what we want to do is set level to 0 when we start. So when level, or let's set it to level, yeah, level zero, because it's kind of like the intro. So we're going to say, when flag is clicked, forever, and then we're just going to say, set, wait, let's see where the background is. Set, where can I find it? Switch costume to, costume uh, to, Let's see if we put a level in here. I just want to see what happens. Okay. I, I remember there being a way to set the switch, the costume. Okay, let's see. Switch bathroom, next costume. Oh, next costume. That's where it is. Okay. So, what we want to do is say, um, one flag is clicked. Switch costume to costume one. And then, when I receive, and we're just going to create a message called next level oh I believe I misspelled that how do I ah uh, rename broadcast next costume so basically the next thing we want to do is make sure that when the game starts we want to set um we're gonna say one flag is clicked go to and then we'll just make it right here so I think it should be negative 200 and negative 20 okay we'll make it a little bit higher so we can say zero and all you have to do is run across and we'll put a little instruction here saying arrow keys so we can do this and say arrow keys We'll make this a little smaller, and we'll put it in the center right here. Okay. 
awesome. So uh, the next thing you want to do, which is going to be the last thing for right now, is we're going to add a costume, and we're going to basically all it's going to be is a kind of portal looking thing. So it's going to be like this shade of gray, and we're going to make it filled in, I believe, and it should look like this. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Right there. That looks about right. We'll stretch it out a bit. And then in inside we want to make it a little bit lighter. Oh, are we not? And then for now, we'll just make it like another circle. There we go. So this is it so far. And what we can do is drag this whole entire thing down a bit. And then we can actually just do this. So make a dark gray. Like this, just add some more kind of touch to it. That is bugging me because it's not centered. Let's zoom in on this. Let's scroll over a little bit. Let's use this selector tool and let's center it. There we go. Alright, so that's going to be it for this uh, tutorial. And I'm going to be creating a part 3 soon. So basically today we just worked on the level 1 and, uh, and fixing up some of the physics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time and peace out.